My American Standard shower valve has always worked with no problems, but the other day I got a hammering and thumping sound in my pipes along with sporadic water flow. Eventually the hammering stopped, but now when I adjust the temperature, I only get scalding hot water or only cold water. I wasn't able to get any warm water at all. It was either all hot or all cold and nothing in between. After a bit of research, I came to the conclusion that the pressure balancing unit has malfunctioned. And in this video, I'll show you how to replace this part and get the shower working normally again. The first thing to do is shut off the water to the house. This is usually done at the shutoff valve in the front yard near the street, but your location may be different. After the water is off, turn on the shower valve and let all the water drain out until it stops. Then I cover the drain because I don't want to lose any screws down there. On the bottom of the American Standard shower handle, pop out the tiny cover, and it's totally possible that your cover could be missing. With the handle pulled all the way up, use an Allen wrench and loosen the set screw. You don't have to take it all the way out, and it's super tiny so you don't want to lose it. Just turn the screw until the handle can be lifted off. Now the collar can be slipped right out. The cover plate has two screws that need to be removed. Once these screws are out, the face plate can be pulled off. However, after I took the screws out of mine, I realized the cover was stuck on the tile with adhesive, so in the end I didn't want to mess with it so I just left it attached. This white tubular part where the handle was attached is the actual shower valve, and it's actually not what's causing the hot and cold water problem I'm having. But in any case, this valve needs to be taken out by removing the three flathead screws. Be careful with the last screw so the valve doesn't fall off. This inner part with the three holes is the American Standard Pressure Balancing Unit. It's held in place by a brass retaining ring. Here, carefully take out the three screws around the ring. These screws are pretty short and you don't want them falling inside the wall. You may want to take a picture of this first so you can remember the orientation of all the holes. The round hole is positioned at the top center. When it's freed, be careful you don't drop the retaining ring inside the wall. What's left is the pressure balancing unit. And to get it out, I use a paint can opener because I couldn't get enough grip with my fingers. It's actually in there pretty tight. There are little slots on the outer ring that fit the paint can opener perfectly. Just pull a little on both sides and the pressure balancing unit will come out. Now I can swap this out with a new part, and I'll show you the part number later. But let me quickly show you the slots I was talking about earlier. They're all around the front edge, and the paint can opener is the right tool to help remove this. Before putting the new part in, clear any debris you see in the water inlet inside the wall. Mine was actually pretty clean. Now just slip the new pressure balancing unit into the opening. Remember, the round opening is at the top and the oval openings are at the bottom. And here's the orientation of the retaining ring when it goes back on, with four screw holes at the top. Now use the three flathead screws and attach the retaining ring. I recommend tightening each of these a little at a time so you get even pressure as the ring presses the seal of the pressure balancing unit into place. Now it's time to reattach the shower valve. Be sure to line up the round valve opening at the top with the round opening on the pressure balancing unit. Using the three long screws, I'm going to tighten each screw a little bit at a time to get even pressure around the seals to prevent any leaks. And if you remove the cover plate, now is the time to reattach that. I hope I'm able to show you how you can fix water hammering and hot and cold water problems on an American Standard shower unit. That way you won't have to call a plumber. And saving you and me money is what I love about doing these projects. After the collar is slipped back in, 
Hook the handle back onto the valve and then tighten the set screw to secure it to the wall. When it's tight, snap on the little cover. At this point, I can turn the main water back on in my house and now I have warm water again. I'd say you could do this repair in about 30 minutes easily. And here's the pressure balancing unit I used. Have this on hand before you start this repair. You can see the part number and I've listed this in the description to make it easy for you to find. If this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to keep up to date on all my home DIY videos.